Hey guys, this is Chris with Ron Boots Farm, and this is the worst part of farming, dealing with sick animals. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from the car today. Uh, just uh, ran to uh, Walgreens and tractor supply real quick. Uh, this is the uh, worst part of farming owning animals and all of that uh, no sooner than I have posted my garden video uh, showing off my uh, my garden and how well it's doing uh, that I found one of my goats sick laid up in the barn couldn't stand up on his own um, it was already uh, over in the evening uh, close to dark um, texted a vet uh, that I have in my phone that's a mobile vet she wasn't able to come out it was so late but uh, she said go ahead and give him uh, antibiotic and some b12 if we had it we didn't have the b12 but i did have uh, the antibiotic uh, from when we were doctoring their other goat's tail so i gave him that and um, reading online and seeing how he was acting i was kind of thought he might have had bloat wasn't sure but um, i was able to get him up he's heavy and he couldn't stand up on his own so uh, me and my wife it took both of us the first time to get him standing up um, rubbed his rumen uh, we got some oil and uh, baking soda down him, which we'd read online about. I uh, thought he burped a few times, but wasn't sure. Um, I stayed out there with him till 4 in the morning this morning, or almost 4.30. Uh, had him, uh, he did get up one other time and pee. And uh, like I said, about 4.30, I had been up all night. My back was killing me, and he was kind of laying down. Looked like he was kind of rested, and I thought, well, I'll sleep for an hour or so and then run and see if I can get some uh, milk of magnesia when uh, the pharmacy opens in the morning and uh, see if I can get the B vitamin shot uh, at Tractor Supply. So I ran inside, uh, laid down on the couch for uh, about an hour, hour and a half, got up and went back out there, and I guess I should have stayed with him, but he was all swollen, definitely looked like he had bloat. I mean, he had flopped around and his side was just, I mean, it looked like he was smuggling basketballs in there. Um, so I started rubbing on him and got his head up. And almost as soon as I did that, he burped. Real big burp right in my face. Smelled god awful. And uh, that seemed to relieve some of the distress. And he did try to get up. And I was able to get him up. And uh, we got some more oil down him. And he burped quite a bit. And then he peed and pooped. So I thought that was a good sign. And I rode on a, on a while till he quit burping. And he seemed settled down. And so now I have ran to uh, get this stuff and I'm headed back, so we'll see. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. The vet can't come out till tomorrow is the earliest she can make it to our place. Um, there's no way I can pick him up. Uh, I can barely get him to stand, and it usually takes multiple tries, and then all he can do is stand there while I uh, hold him up best I can. So there's no way I can get him in a truck or anywhere else to take him anywhere. Most of the vets around here are not seeing uh, new patients anyway, any of the uh, – farm animal vets uh, due to the COVID pandemic so we'll see I'm going to go back and uh, in fact I think the vet just texted me while I was making this video I the only B vitamin shot I could find was actually not labeled for goats so I texted her that to see if it was okay to give him and that uh, I was pretty sure that it was bloat so we'll see what she says to do and uh, I'll see if I can get him through today and tonight and uh, maybe she can come tomorrow and look and see so I don't know. I don't really know if he got into something, um, if he ate something. I, I kind of walked around his pen last night, and I found some mushrooms, but I couldn't tell that any of them were eaten. So I'm not real sure what's causing the bloat. Uh, I was actually feeding him less. Uh, we've had a rat problem in the barn, so I actually haven't been giving him any uh, feed at night. I usually give him a little bit in the morning and at night anyway, but I hadn't even given him any at night for about four or five days. So I don't think that caused it. So I don't know. It's one of those things. Uh, maybe he'll survive. Maybe he won't. There was times last night that I thought I was going to have to put him down. Uh, but then he would kind of pull through. And, uh, again, he was kind of resting this morning at around 4.30 when I went inside and stripped down, laid down on the couch for about an hour, hour and a half, and I got back out there. And uh, then he was, again, looked like he was smuggling basketballs. He was so swole up. So I'm pretty sure it is bloat. Uh, not sure what caused it. But uh, we will go back and uh, see what we can do, and hopefully we don't lose him. And uh, I'll let you know how it turns out. Well, guys, it's uh, midday. He's still making it. 
even got him setting up a little bit, so we'll see. Um, gave him the milk of magnesia, gave him the B vitamin shot. Haven't been able to get him up again. Um, he also has, looks like, I don't know if it's because he was laying flat, but his right uh, eye, the one, of course we're facing him, but his right, the one on this side, I don't know if he got dirt in it laying flat last night, but it's kind of goopy. Looked like it might be infected. I did give him an antibiotic yesterday, and I'll give him another shot this evening if he makes it that long. But uh, I'm going to go to the feed store, get some more straw to put down in here, and also get uh, some kind of eye wash. So I'm not sure he is setting up, but he's doing that head waving thing. So I'm not sure if that's just a weakness. It's trying to keep the flies off. I did hang a fly trap out here. I'm not sure if that'll help. Hopefully they'll... Some of them will go up there and get off of him. So we'll see. I'm about to head to the feed store and get that eye wash and the straw, and then we'll come back and uh, check on him again. Well, guys, we made it to the evening. He's still hanging on. Gave him, uh, just had another vitamin B shot. And uh, he actually moved himself because he was laying over there, and I got him up earlier. He stood for a little while, not too long. And then uh, when I, I was, it went into the house, maybe an hour, came back out here, and he has moved himself to over here. So I don't know if he got up and went to the restroom. He did try to um, get up as we were leaving earlier, so maybe that was it. But uh, he did get up at some point and move himself over here. So that's uh, promising. So we'll check on him throughout the night. Um, hopefully he can hang on through tonight, and the uh, vet is going to make it out here tomorrow. And uh, I'll, I'll come out here. Um, throughout the night, um, check on him, uh, rose belly if I need to, if it looks like it's swelling anymore, and uh, yeah, again, got his head up and uh, has moved himself, so at least that's promising, so we'll see how it goes. Hey, look at this guy, that's like uh, 4.30 in the morning, just came out here to check on the goat, and he's standing up, he's not moving around yet, uh, but he is up, which is a good sign. So we will see. Vet should be here later today, but he is up, um, so that's good. I don't want to just keep this light on him, so I'm going to turn this off, but we'll check back in later today, see how he's doing then. Hey guys, look who's up. Just came out here real quick to check on him. Vet uh, still hasn't made it out here to be here this afternoon, but he, uh, he's up. He was wagging his tail when I walked out here. Uh, I'm not sure why he's looking the... Uh, wood there but hey this is a big improvement from the other day when he was laid on the side legs straight out belly all swollen um all you know real listless and just shaking um his eyes have brightened up and standing up and hopefully on the mend so we'll see what the uh, vet says this afternoon and uh hopefully get him back to to normal hey guys look at this this is later on in the afternoon. The vet came and saw him. She was as surprised as me as what he's looking like. He's still weak. But uh, before I could actually get him locked in the barn, he was over actually in that corner as far as he could actually walk from where he was at. Back over there in the back of the barn. So we're just gonna keep on treating him and see if he makes it through we're going to give him antibiotics for three more days and another vitamin b shot tomorrow and she gave me some pain medicine for him you can still hear him kind of grinding his teeth there but hey at least he's up walking around sure still not sure exactly what it is that's wrong with him but uh making progress we'll keep on checking on him come on bud let's get back in the barn Not you, Susie. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Now we're cooking with grease. Come on. There you go. I'll give you a little bite. Come on, let's get back in the barn where it's shady. over here before you fall down. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so still eating a little hay. 
and try to not give him any feed, which we don't feed a lot anyway, just a small handful in the mornings and sometimes in the evening. But uh, just gonna keep him on hay and maybe a little grass. But definitely doing way better than he was. Come on, step over. Hey, bud. Still not feeling good, but doing better. Yeah? Can you look over here? Hmm. You can hear him grinding his teeth. Hey, now you're looking. But he is on some pain meds for, for pain. So, continuing to work with him. How you feeling, bud? Hmm? Still not great, but making it? Yeah. You look better. Yeah, what is that? Making progress. How, bud? How you feeling? Huh? Are you ready to see me? Yeah? Yeah, don't chew on the electric cord. Still grinding your teeth. I got your pain meds though. Yeah, feeling better? Feeling better? Got your mineral block. Get my finger off the camera. Yeah, you want some of that? Get you a little nibble. Yeah, so this is now Saturday. He first got, uh, went down Wednesday night. It's Saturday around lunchtime. I gave him his uh, vitamin B shot this morning. About to give him uh, these pain meds the vet gave me. Went ahead and picked up a new mineral block while I was at uh, Tractor Supply. Um, don't know if anything he's got going on is any kind of mineral deficiency, but went ahead and got that. Figured it couldn't hurt. They just used up their last one. It had uh, been out about a week or so. So, so yeah, I mean, he's able to rear up. He's still hobbling, doing a lot of laying down. He really wants to get out of here and get it with the other goats. But uh, I put up this temporary wire. There's a temporary fence to keep him in here just so I'm afraid he'll get out there in the sun and get uh go down and then not be able to get back in and then get hot get back in the shade so uh, i got him locked up in here for now but if he keeps on showing improvement we'll let him out in a day or two and see what happens oh and knocked over your water bud so yeah he's uh making progress and we'll keep doctoring him and check back in later all right guys looking pretty good Still not sure exactly what was wrong, but uh, up and around, eating some weeds from the garden. This is now, uh, let's see, this is Monday morning uh, before I sign on for work. And uh, he got sick again last Wednesday. So what's that, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? So this is, I guess, day five and doing a lot better. He wants out of here. I put this uh, temp fence up. I think I mentioned one of the other segments. So he couldn't get out there and get in the heat, but uh, I may uh, take that down this evening and let him start getting back out with the other goats. He really wants to get over there with them. And uh, yeah, lots of improvement. Gave him the last uh, antibiotic shot last night that was recommended by the vet. Had some B vitamin shots. Um, didn't give him anything for bloat yesterday and he seems to be doing okay. So we're gonna watch him today. Probably give him some more weeds here from the garden. Uh, throughout the day he's got some hay over there to eat as well and some water and i've also been giving him water with a syringe just to make sure he gets some but uh i think we may have turned the corner again not sure what it was that made him go down but he can get up on his own he's walking around he's even rearing up uh, on this gate this pallet gate we have uh, like he normally does when i come out here when he sees me he comes over and rears up and puts his feet up on it so wagging his tail don't know if y'all saw that I'm not sure if i had it in the camera but 
There he goes. So yeah, um, I think we may have healed him. So I think we will we'll cut this video off here. If we, there are any updates, I'll make another video. But uh, yeah, I think uh, um, if I hadn't stayed up with him that first night, I'm not sure he would have made it. I stayed up with him till uh, four o'clock in the morning, rubbing his belly and trying to get him up. Got him up a couple of times. Um, and then when I slept for an hour and came back in, he was in bad shape. So I'm pretty sure if I hadn't stayed out here with him that night, he wouldn't have been here the next morning. So. That's part of farming. Sometimes you gotta do it and do what you can, and sometimes they make it, pull through, and sometimes they don't, but I think we had a good outcome this time. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, um, but I think he's feeling better. <laughs> it's a goat in a sheet. What are you doing, bud? Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing under there? Huh? Yeah? You feeling better? <laughs>